Hey everybody, and welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Today I'm just doing a vlog. Um, sorry it wasn't out earlier, it's just going to be my New Year's vlog. First of all, Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope you guys had a great day today. I know it's getting near, might even be the next day for a lot of people, but anyway, I just wanted to do a little vlog and talk about like the year in review and kind of hit some points on what we're planning on next year. Um, I have some notes written down there, a little outline on my eraser board, and so if you see me looking down, you know why. Um, it started off, you know, uh, the year started, which seems like a long, long time ago. To me, it seems like it's been further, longer than a year. But, you know, we were doing the Psycho Series still back in, uh, <clears throat> back in December last year, or January, I mean. I don't remember where we were at in the story in January, to tell you the truth. It seems like... You know such a long time ago but you know i can hit some some things there that um that we did that were kind of big is like i remember being held by the throat by psycho dad and in, in one of the series uh which was kind of interesting it's like i had to literally just stand against the wall so he could hold me and be all limp like i'm not going to hit him or anything like that it's probably like one of the hardest things that i ever really had to do because it was like didn't make any sense you know what I mean it's like if somebody's holding you by the throat would you just be standing there like this be like oh go ahead hit me <laughs> it was hard um but you know that one I I got to ride my truck drive my truck into a pool which uh it was fun a little bit you know I was a little bit nervous uh not a whole lot um we had that planned a year in advance something you know we were called, you know, copycats saying that we copied off Agri Grandpa, which we never did. Um, Jesse actually had to play. I remember the day when Angry Grandpa rode back into the pool. Jesse's like, can you believe this? And I was like, wow. And, uh, but it didn't matter. Because, I mean, we did it entirely different than what they did anyway. So it wasn't, it was no big deal. And we love, we love Michael. We love uh, Angry Grandpa and everything. So it's like, we have nothing against them. They don't have nothing against us. So... It all worked out. Everything was perfect. Um, you know, I got some hate because, you know, I was called a scammer. Um, just about every possible bad name you could ever think of. Um, because, you know, I was pretending to be hurt and the series was portrayed as real. I had YouTubers that I never even heard of before hate on me just because... They can do that, and it helps their channel. It helps them get views and everything, and uh, that's how they they do their thing and everything. Even without me hating on any of them, they just hate on me. So I learned a lot throughout this past year. Um, you know, there's been several times where I wanted to to actually quit and stuff, uh, especially when dealing with all the hate and everything. But you know, Jesse had a lot of talks with me and everything, and helped me through all of that, and. Uh, and now I understand the way it works a little. I don't, I don't say that it's right, the way that it works. But I understand what goes on now. You know, a lot of people just think that they have a right to be mean to other people, especially in the comment section and everything. That's why I try to stay away from the comment section. I, I let that just exist for people that want to just go on there and write their opinions and think that their opinions are, are right, and, and, you know, well, I'm entitled to my opinion, so I'm allowed to write it down. Um, yeah, everybody's entitled to their opinion and everything. doesn't mean you have to write it down, especially if it's something mean or anything. But, you know, that's the way that thing works, and I understand that. Um, but it's been a very interesting year, and I've learned a lot through that. Uh, and I mean a lot. Um, also, I mean, I got to go to, after the, the series ended and everything, I get got to go to uh, Switzerland, which I've never been before. Now... We were supposed to vote on where we were going to go. I can remember that. And uh, I never did get to vote. It was already picked out. I was in the minority anyway because it was all their family and just and then I was going with them. So they were the majority. I was, uh, I didn't get to vote because uh, anybody that knows me knows that I would have picked warmer temperature. I wouldn't have picked Switzerland. Having said that, it was beautiful there. Um, I will, you know, I'll never get a chance to go to a place like that. I've never been out of country before, so that was really cool. Um, beautiful scenery, gorgeous. But like I said, I'd rather been warm. It wasn't too bad of weather. It wasn't 
freezing cold, so that wasn't too bad, but it, it wasn't, you know, I'd rather have it 80, 90 degrees. Um, then I got to go to California when the series ended and everything. You know, after the series ended, we went to Switzerland. Then it, then we went to, yeah, because Jesse hadn't made an appearance or anything until the, you know, until we went to uh, California and um, to VidCon, which if any of you guys get a chance to go to VidCon, check it out. It's amazing. You're, you're there with a lot of other like minds, um, you know, people who love YouTube, uh, whether they love watching your channel or some people who are creators, there's a lot of creators there so that they're there and you're all of like mind with, uh, so you have respect, mutual respect for each other, which is really cool. Uh, it's, it's really cool when you're around a lot of people who kind of do the same thing. Um, so that was really neat. Then after that, we got to shoot the doc, doc the documentary, um, which was amazing to me. I mean, I've never experienced anything like that. It's not like doing the videos just with the, the camera they're doing a vlog or anything like that. I mean, they, this is a legit filming crew that's going around and, and filming you and stuff. So it's, it's a little bit more intimidating than sitting here in front of a camera. Um, but, you know, it was really neat experience. Uh, when's it coming out? Don't bother asking me at all because I don't know. Um, Je you know, Jesse would, will know before any of us. And uh, he doesn't, I don't think he knows yet. So it will happen eventually. I know that. Um, and it's, it's going to be amazing. I know that. I did get to see the trailer for it, which was, wow, blew me away. It made me miss the series even more. Um, and then after the after the doc, then we got into another series. We did the uh, Jesse did a couple other ones, but we did the the haunted series, um, which was very grueling time because uh, it was some long hours and everything. But I thought we did a pretty good job on that. I think Jesse did an excellent job. Um, Christmas story or the Christmas series that we just got finished and everything that wasn't as grueling for me because I wasn't in it that many times. But it was a fun series to do. It was kind of cool. I loved this whole idea of incorporating all these different Christmas shows together and everything. That was that was pretty amazing, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, so that was kind of cool. I, I mean, I did all kinds of different videos. We had two dudes getting food. We had on on our channel. We had uh, let's see, chilling and growing naturally. We did pranks uh, on each other. We did uh, oh, let's see what else. I'm trying to think, we, we did a lot of different things. The two dudes diff getting foods didn't work out for us. It was cost me more money than I was making on that. So, uh, plus Joe can only really film one day, so it, he can't really do that um, all the time. So, you know, we we might we might still sneak out and do a two dudes getting food video. You never know. That's going to come back. Um, chilling and growing. You know, we kind of got stagnant after a while. I think we, you know, doing that every day like that. I think we just needed a break from that. Um, not that we're done chilling and growing. Chilling and growing is always going to exist. There are going to still be episodes of that. But we're just taking a little break right now. Um, oh, then I did these hot knife, uh, the thousand degree hot knife. And <clears throat> it was funny. Did the first one. I really think they're cool. Don't get me wrong. I can give a shout out to Mr. Gear, even though he doesn't need my shout out because he's way bigger than me. Um, I mean, he came up with this idea and it, it's an awesome idea. And I didn't mean any disrespect towards him at all. I just wanted to try to make a video and I tried to copy the way that he was doing it. Um, you know, when somebody copies something, that's actually the the highest form of flattery. It's not to be mean or anything like that. And uh, I did one and it was kind of cool. And what happened was, is Joe couldn't do a film with me this past week for that, um, that's news to us because he got the stomach virus. So I, ha I wanted to come out with something. I was like, you know, I'm just going to do another hot knife thing. I had all this stuff here still. And uh, I decided to put one out. Knowing full well that I was going to get hate on it. I knew that. Um, didn't expect it to be as much hate as I got. So I disenabled the, disabled the uh, comment section on that video. Because, uh, frankly, I think it's ridiculous, all the hate. It doesn't doesn't even make sense. I don't comprehend that stuff in my mind because I'm not about that. So it's it's just, and I don't even want to dwell on any of the hate at all. I want to dwell on, more importantly, this past year, the friendships that I've made, which are so many people. Um, and I'm not going to name names because I'll inevitably leave somebody out because there's so many that I met this year through Twitter um, that's where I meet most of the people that I become close with is, is uh, through Twitter because 
Um, it's a it's a unique family we have there, and I got to have a party in the summertime, which was really cool. Had a lot of people show up to it. Um, it was fun, uh, beautiful time. I'm gonna have another one. Not gonna say when the when the date is or anything, because um, it's gonna be by invite only. Uh, of course, if I ever had that million sub party, it would that would be gigantic, but. Doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime in the near future. No, my channel is not dying. For all you guys that are saying your channel's dead, your channel's dying. No, it's not dying. Anything goes through peaks and valleys. That's what happens. And I'm not going to stop. I'm still here. So it's going to keep going. Um, it only dies when I stop recording. That's, that's the only way it can die. So anyway, that was this whole year. This whole year has been amazing. Met amazing people. 2017. It's, I think that's going to be even more amazing. I mean, Jesse's got a new series he's talking about. Uh, I've talked to him about it. We've come up with ideas, um, and I've helped him out a little bit with his ideas and everything. So it should be good. I might be in it, might not be in it. It's going to be up to Jesse. That's It's his thing. So I have the utmost respect for Jesse. I always will. Love that kid to death. He is a brilliant mind. He is going places. I mean, we can't even say that he's definitely going to have a new series because... I mean, he could get cast in a movie or something. We don't know what's going to going to happen in this near future. So we'll just have to sit back and wait and see, right? Um, we're going to continue to do that snooze to us. Me and Joe love doing that. I know that we've gotten a lot of people saying, don't do this, blah, blah, blah. They hate the green screen, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It doesn't matter to us. When you find something that you love to do, you do it. You don't listen to those voices that say, don't do it. You do what you love to do. That's my motto, will always be that. The other thing, we're going to continue to do challenges, you know, probably throw pranks, you know, probably prank each other whenever. Um, and whatever else we can think of throughout this year, you guys feel free to give us some ideas. Um, we love listening to you guys, um, you know, what you guys want to, want to see also. Uh, and that's what I like about having my channel. I like having different things for different people. So if you don't like one thing that we put on, maybe you like something else. I think that's the way all YouTubers should be. Give a variety for, because you can't make everybody happy. And it doesn't mean you should stop doing one type of video because some people don't like that. They can just skip that video and watch something else. So it's really unique and I love doing this. Um, we're not going anywhere. Um, I'm looking forward to 2017. I hope you guys all have a blessed year. Now, maybe 2017 is going to be the year of the water. You think? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, love you guys to death. Remember, no hate needed, just love. Till next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. I'll meet you at the lounge.